to admit it. In fact, I can't even believe that I'm saying it. But I don't care. What? You dead? Heresy. Alan, I'm amazed at you. I don't care either. <laughs> yeah, well, you weren't drafted by a major league team straight out of college. You didn't teach your sons to bow their heads at the name Mickey Mantle. You didn't learn at your father's knee every single New York Yankee lineup beginning in 1954. Bill McDougal, second base. Third base, Kerry. Mickey Mantle, center field. Yogi Berra, catcher. Joe Collins, first base. Hank Bauer, right field. And in left field, Irv Norton. Or Gene Woodling. Gene. Dye, second, yeah. second string. Bill Rizzuto was short. And, and the, the pitchers. pitchers. Whitey Ford, Ed Lopat. Allie Reynolds, Don Larson. Larson. Perfect game. <laughs> and, and. Grim, Grim Bird, Sam Morgan. Morgan. Very impressive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Show Brenda. <laughs> You weren't brought up to respect the tradition and dignity <laughs> of the only team which counts in the Major League Baseball. And you don't care what happens to the Yankees this season? You explain yourself, young man. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> All the players anymore without a scorecard. It used to be that they were, they were teams. I mean, it was just like, like a family. You could count on them day after day, week after week, for better or for worse. Now they're just a bunch of highly priced athletes that move from city to city at the drop of a dollar sign. Well, you can't blame that entirely on the Yankees. You blame Charlie Finley or, or, or the Oakland A's. You blame uh, even better Kurt Flood. Who's Kurt Flood? Oh, he was, uh, he was a player for the Phillies who filed an antitrust suit against the major league owners over the team's lifetime's rights to the player. And thus was born the free agent system and, and players union and, and agents in baseball. <laughs> Can you... Can you imagine the babe or, or Lou Gehrig coming in with an agent to negotiate with Wolford? <laughs> uh, come on, Grandfather. It's a good old free enterprise system at work, huh? No, free enterprise is for management, huh? not the labor. Huh? Forgive me, dear, but no one ever plonked down 850 to sit in the load and watch George Steinbrenner. Uh, my sympathy is with the players, um, especially since they did away with those baggy uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Wait a sec, Grandmother, that could be construed as a sexist remark. Guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> well, rationally, I've got to tell you that Jason and Mother are absolutely right, because it's the players that put the panties in the seats, so they're entitled to whatever they can get. I just wish that they could get what they were entitled to in one city and stay there long enough for me to be able to memorize the lineup. Mushy thinking, Alan, mushy thinking. What's your point? Money is the root of all evil. Oh, horse feathers. Uh, What's the game? What's the game? What's the game?